Greetings all, and welcome to the seventh episode of TM Technical Movement. For today, we'll be looking at the Kinesis, Calm Mind, Psycho Shift, Telekinesis, Psychic Terrain and Magic Powder techniques, and the Esper Wing, Future Sight, Psy Shock, and Psy Strike attacks. Considered to be the signature technique of Kadabra and Alakazam, the Kinesis technique involves simply using psychic power to bend a spoon in an effort to distract the opposition. As a result of carrying around spoons in order to amplify and better control the psychic powers, Kadabra and Alakazam have developed the ability to use the otherwise purposeless spoons to confuse and distract an opponent with a simple trick. By bending their spoons with the psychokinetic powers, these Pokemon can essentially frighten or at least put off opponents a bit, in turn potentially distracting them and lowering their accuracy. The move does not always work on every single opponent, but when it does, it can certainly throw off the opponent's strategy and make it far more difficult to defeat these creatures before they devastate the opposition with their impressive special powers. Fairly agile Pokémon, as well as attacks and techniques that raise a Pokémon's accuracy or lower an opponent's evasion, are highly recommended for dealing with the Kinesis technique. The Calm Mind technique is effectively the mirror opposite of the Bulk Up technique, and focuses on increasing the user's special abilities rather than their physical ones. In short, the Calm Mind technique literally involves nothing more than the use of calming and emptying its mind of worries and danger, allowing its natural special abilities to intensify and become more in tune with the world around them. As a result, this move hopes to increase the user's capacity to deal and resist special damage, and thus increases their special attack and special defense stats when executed. It might not be anything too fancy to seem like much of a serious threat from afar, but it only takes one of these moves to make a traditional special attacker a dangerous force on the battlefield to all types of opponents equally. It was for this reason that Silphco decided to release the move as TM4 within the third generation line of TMs, from which it has remained immensely popular and has been reproduced in almost all subsequent generations, including the recent Sinnoh Special Edition set, only becoming TR49 as part of the company's first line of TRs, and TM129 within the ninth generation line of TMs. Attacks and techniques to raise the Pokemon's or lower an opponent's special attack and special defense stats are highly recommended for dealing with the Calm Mind technique. In effect, the Psycho Shift technique involves user using its psychic powers to transfer any stable status condition it might have to the opposition, carrying itself in the process. The Psycho Shift technique is a poorly understood move, whose exact functions are somewhat limited, but nonetheless can come in handy during the course of a battle. In using a Psycho Shift technique, the user utilizes its power of psychic suggestion to form a conduit between it and a nearby target, within which any negative stable status condition the user might have is transferred and imprinted upon the target, unless the target is immune to the status condition, in which case the move will fail, before the connection breaks and turn curing the user of that ailment. While perhaps simple to enjoy, the Psycho Shift technique is a specialized move that few trainers will be able to make much use of in practice, especially since it will fail if the user does not have a stable status condition, or if the opposition is already inflicted with a status condition and it might not even work all the time. Even so, if an opponent enjoys using attacks and techniques to inflict status conditions, this move at the very least can help turn whatever advantage they might have right back against them. Due to its unique attributes, there is no way to directly counter the effects of the Psycho Shift technique. By using intense telekinetic power, some psychic type Pokemon are able to actually take control of an opponent in such a way as to affect their capacity to avoid attacks. In tactical terms, this is the telekinesis technique at work. The unique psychic power used in this move causes the opposition to levitate off the ground for about three combat turns, during which their ability to avoid attacks is severely changed. While under the effects of telekinesis, an opponent cannot avoid moves other than one-hit KO attacks under any circumstances, as the user will automatically fling them in the way of whatever attack they decide to use. On that same note though, the user becomes immune to ground-type attacks as well as trapping abilities like Arena Trap until the move wears off. While the possibility of total devastation can be immense when this technique is in place, it will unfortunately not work if the user is holding an iron ball, is under the effects of ingrade, or if a gravity technique is used. Even so, the fact that a move can seriously screw with an opponent, and can potentially be learned by a wide variety of Pokémon, made the move more than worthwhile in the eyes of Silphico, explaining why they decided to release the move as TM-19 within their 5th generation line of TMs, though a loss in favor resulted in its discontinuation from the 6th generation line. Aside from using a move right to keep a Pokémon stuck to the ground or waiting for it to wear off, there is no way to directly counter the effects of the telekinesis technique. The Psychic Terrain technique is one of several moves that has the capacity to completely change the environment to best suit the needs of specific types of Pokemon. In this case, the type most benefited by this move is the Psychic type. 
Pokemon using this technique discharge massive amounts of psychic energy into the ground, using every ounce of power they have, eventually reaching the point where the ground itself becomes distorted and radiates a weird energy aura that alters the perception of Pokemon present like a hallucinogen for at least 5 combat turns. For Psychotypes, this seemingly free source of additional energy is a major advantage, as it allows them to steal additional power from the ground while attacking, and therefore increases the damage of all Psychotype attacks by 50%. In addition, due to the strange abnormalities present in the ground, all Pokémon are granted temporary psychic powers in the form of being able to detect whether the opposition is going to strike next. While this does not have a serious effect on most moves, if a priority move that doesn't target all present Pokémon is used, all targets of the move will see it coming and involuntarily dodge it, thus negating the use of all priority moves in the process. Moreover, it is known that the presence of this energized battlefield causes the move Nature Power to become Psychic-type, grants the secret power attack an abnormal flavor with the potential to decrease the target's speed stat, and causes the Pokémon using Camouflage Technique to become a Psychic-type. The only disadvantage that comes with this technique is that it cannot have an effect on Pokémon that either fly or hover above the ground through use of an item or ability. Even so, this technique can more than change the favor of battle to those of Psychic-type association, and to keep any and all opponents and allies safe from moves that might otherwise be executed before the move of anyone else, which helps to explain why it was made into TM91 for the Silph Coast 8th generation line of TMs and TRs, and TM138 for the 9th generation line of TMs. Aside from waiting for its effects to wear off, or using Pokémon immune to its effects, there is no way to directly counter the effects of the Psychic Terrain technique. Considered to be the signature technique of Hatterene, the Magic Powder technique involves the use of scattering Cloud of Magic Powder on the opposition to change their type. The Magic Powder technique is an interesting move that is only accessible to Hatterene on account of their unique capacity to imbue others with Psychic Powers. In using this move, these creatures effectively spread what is the equivalent of danger for them onto an opponent, though to make it sound more hygienic and to better reflect its attributes, it is mainly referred to as Magic Powder, hence the choice of name for the technique. The powder is energized with an immense amount of psychic energy and, while it doesn't have any damaging effects to it, the powder is so highly charged that it can temporarily override the effects of attacks on an opponent and imbue them with psychic power for as long as they are present on the battlefield effectively turning them into pure psychic types for the duration of their time in battle. While this effect can be easily removed by switching out one's Pokémon, and doesn't do these Hatterene a ton of good in terms of offense, it nonetheless helps to make them a good partner in multi-Pokémon battles, allowing Pokémon that are effective against psychic types to target alternate opponents and in turn, making it a unique move whose specialty attributes can more than render it a useful strategic tool in the right circumstances. Due to its unique attributes, there is no way to directly counter the effects of the Magic Powder technique. Considered to be the signature attack of a Suian Braviary, the Esper Wing attack involves user generating an energized aura shield of energy over the wings before slashing the opposition with them. While many moves that make use of a wing to attack in some fashion, like the wing attack move, are fairly common among many bird Pokémon, there are only a few that are able to diversify the effects of such basic strikes, and his Suian Braviary are indeed one of the few that can manage that. Specifically, these birds are able to channel the psychic power that flows through them in order to enhance such a basic attack and even flip its damaging properties right on its head. In essence, the Esper Wing attack is executed when these beasts strike opponents with their wings while they are sheathed in an aura of psychic energy. While this attack might seem to be physical in nature, the truth of the matter is that the wings used in said attack never touch an opponent directly. Instead, they are hit with the sharp tip of energy that coats the very edges, which not only renders the attack a special attack, but also allows it to really cut through the defenses to hit a target's weakest points, thus granting the move an increased chance of landing a critical hit. Moreover, once this attack has been successfully executed, the excess second energy that doesn't hurt the opposition is reabsorbed by the user and is channeled straight into their muscles, allowing them to heighten their reaction time and in turn raise their action speed, or just speed in general. Given that the move is also affected by held items like King's Rocks, it is a decent move to rely on for both dealing damage and flying circles around opponents, even if it isn't the most accurate of moves, given that it takes some time to generate the energy shield used in the attack. Due to its use of psychic energy to inflict damage, there is no way to directly counter the Esper Wing attack, and it can be exceptionally difficult to dodge. Metallic armor can also help reduce and negate the damage dealt by this attack, but rocky armor is unlikely to perform as well on its own. The Esper Wing attack is a rare enough move that most trainers will likely not have to worry about facing it too much, but if placed against a Suian Braviary with access to this move, it can prove to be a tricky attack that is best avoided at all costs with agile movements, if only to help keep the opposition from using it to increase the chances of them being able to strike more quickly and potentially in succession before one's own Pokémon can land another hit. In effect, the future side attack involves setting up a psychic field on the battlefield that will eventually destabilize over a set amount of time and strike an opponent on the battlefield. The future side attack is a rare example of an offensive move 
that is designed to deal damage at a point in the future and not when it is initially executed as a way of dealing with powerful offensive fighters that might otherwise knock out the user before it can deal enough damage to defeat the target. In a future sight attack, the user generates an imperceptible psychic energy field around the battlefield tuned to attack a specific target but is otherwise too stable to actually collapse and discharges energy. This field is only temporary though and slowly destabilizes over time until it reaches a breaking point about two combat turns later and discharges the psychic energy comprising it upon the selected target. In addition, there are a few noticeable traits that can potentially make the attack absolutely devastating in practice. For one thing, if an opponent is defeated before the move can fully be executed, whatever beast that takes its place in battle will also take the brunt of the blow instead. Moreover, the attack will still be successfully executed even if the original user has faded beforehand. As a result of this, the move is also unaffected by the life orb item and is incapable of actually delivering a critical hit, but in the long run, these minor issues are little in comparison to the move's potential for setting up opponents and making them wish they had seen it coming, which helps to explain why it was made in TR-34 for Silphco's first line of TRs before it was discontinued from subsequent generations. Due to its unique attributes, there is no way to directly counter or dodge the future sight attack. Strong metallic armor can help reduce or negate the damage dealt by this attack, but weaker metallic armor and rocky armor in general are unlikely to perform as well on their own. The future sight attack can be tricky to use effectively because the time unit are properly set it up, but if executed intelligently, it can easily become a nightmarish blow that only strong defenses will be able to counter in practice. In effect, the Psy Shock attack involves users generating a wave of globular projectiles infused with psychic energy that strike the opposition and inflict special damage to the surface of their body. The Psy Shock move is a unique variation on the basic psychic powers that many psychic types possess that enables the user to deal a considerable amount of damage to a target for the sheer point of striking the physical and non special defenses. In essence, the Psy Shock attack is notably different from moves like Psychic for the unstable nature of the energy used in the attack. Although the damage dealt by a Psy Shock attack is primarily dependent upon the user's special attack stat, because of the mechanics of the attack, it is the target's defense stat and not the special defense stat that determines the amount of damage the target takes. This is because the energy contained with the projectiles destabilizes the moment it comes into contact with an opponent's outer body, and turn me that the damage dealt by it only reaches the surface of the target and is unable to penetrate through armor, in turn leading it to deal physical and not special damage. This can make the attack a bit difficult to pull off properly or utilize correctly in many cases, but considering that it is only slightly less powerful than a fully fledged psychic attack, the move more than has merit to it among offensive tacticians, especially since it is affected by items like King's Rocks. It was for this reason that Silph Code decided to release the move, as TM3 within the 5th through 7th generation line of TMs, TR25 was part of the first line of TRs, and TM54 within the 9th generation line of TMs, from which it has gained a steady cold following among professional trainers. Due to its use of psychic energy to inflict damage, there is no way to directly counter and dodge the Psy Shock attack. Strong metallic armor can help reduce or negate the amount of damage dealt by this attack, but weaker metallic armor and rocky armor in general are unlikely to perform as well on their own. The Psy Shock attack may not offer the traditional kind of power that most trainers are used to dealing with, but for its ability to deal powerful physical damage while still using the user's best assets, it's a powerful strike that should be remedied with strong physical defenses at all times. Considered to be the signature attack of Mewtwo, the Psy Strike attack involves the user utilizing immense psychic power to electrically destabilize and damage the electromagnetic bonds holding the target together, dealing massive physical damage in the process. The Psy Strike attack is a deceivingly devastating blow that only Mewtwo is able to utilize as a result of its inherent ability to control even the actions of individual molecules with its immense psychic power. In effect, the Psy Strike attack itself involves Mewtwo generating and expanding an abnormal psychic energy field around itself that latches onto a nearby target and, instead of merely dealing special damage and traveling into the bodies, actually becomes part of the bodies and generates electromagnetic instability within the bonds that hold their body together. In short, the Psy Strike attack effectively pushes and pulls these bonds holding the target's atoms together forcefully, inflicting tremendous physical trauma in the process, but still retaining the damage characteristics of the user's special powers. The attack deals damage based on the user's special attack stat and the opponent's defense stat, not the special defense stat, just like the Psy Shock attack. While it may only be slightly more intense in terms of base power than a psychic attack, the sheer damage this move can nonetheless do while still drawing from the immense special power Mewtwo possess make it perhaps the worst attack any trainer could possibly face in battle, as since it is believed to be affected by items like King's Rocks, and truly makes Mewtwo perhaps the greatest life form to have ever been created on the planet. Due to its use of psychic energy to inflict damage, there is also no way to directly counter or dodge the Psy Strike attack. Strong metallic armor can still help reduce or negate the amount of damage dealt by this attack, but weaker metallic armor and rocky armor in general are unlikely to perform as well on their own. 
the side strike attack is a rare enough move that most trainers will likely never have to worry about seeing it in battle, but for the very few unlucky enough to encounter a Mewtwo in the wild, it is a devastating blow that can truly tear an opponent apart unlike any other and should be countered at all times with strong physical defenses, though this may not end up helping much in the end. That's it for this episode, so stay tuned for the next episode of TM Technical Movement. Thank you all for watching this video. It always brings me great joy to see others enjoying the work I do to try and make the world of Pokemon and the fascinating creatures that lay inside of it feel as real as they possibly can. If you really enjoy my work, please feel free to leave a comment and subscribe as I always do my best to respond to any and all comments that are left on my videos. In addition, if you wish to learn more about my work and help support it, you can find links to my Patreon page as well as email and other contact information to my work on DeviantArt in the video description down below. Furthermore, you can find a link to my Discord server there as well if you'd like to get a first glimpse at what videos are coming up next and converse with other fans of the world of Pokemon. Thank you for taking the time to watch this and have a wonderful rest of your day.